Mark, thank you very much. 743 in just under two months, our community will be a hot spot for the total eclipse. This morning, we're getting a special preview out of one of the many events set for that day called the Total Eclipse of the Park. Yeah, for more on the event and how it makes this spectacular occasion viewable for all to see, we are joined by the chair of the Eclipse Task Force. We all know who she is, Deb Ross, and community organizer from the Southeast Area Coalition, Kiki Smith. Thank you both for waking up bright and oh, early. We are happy to be here. Absolutely. Okay, so we've got some, some gear out here. Gear. I want to get into this. Okay, first things first, though. Okay. My monthly swag for you. We have Eclipse merchandise for you. This. this is a Very mug cool. with Tyler Nordgren's artwork for the Rochester area. I, he I'm started gonna... off with one poster, and then it just spiraled. And so we have so much art for Rochester. Um, and uh, you can find all that on EclipseMerchandise.com. But uh, just uh, as you're getting yourself ready, there's so many ways to celebrate. Um, so we get that out of the way. But more the important. The artwork, though, truly incredible. It, is it incredible. really is. Absolutely. We were picking which one we TA liked the most. for my astronomy class. He was? was he really? No oh kidding. So he went on a date with my roommate. Tyler Norton. Oh, oh my gosh, there's connections we'll, we'll all through that for commercial York. break. We want to know more though. Yeah. So, but you know, each time I'm here, I'm bringing a different partner who's doing something amazing for the eclipse. We have so much happening. And so on that day, Monday, April 8th, in 46 days, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, I'm bringing you Total Eclipse of the Park. Actually, Kiki is bringing you Total Eclipse of the Park and she's here to talk about it. Good morning. Thank you guys so much for having us. It is a we, definitely, that are bringing you total of clips of the park at Genesee Valley Park Fieldhouse um, on Genesee Street. You know, we are, we've developed an inclusivity lensed event to celebrate the eclipse because uh, we recognize that it's hard for some people to experience it the same way that everybody else looks into the sky and oohs and ahs at the colors and the light and the dark. Um, I had an experience in 2017. We have these great tactile maps, among other things, that we'll have that day at Total Eclipse of the Park um, that shows the path of totality in tactile form back from 2017 when I sat on my front porch and cried because I was all by myself and I couldn't see a thing. Right. I was waiting to hear. I happened to be completely blind. Oh yeah, she's blind, by the way. We forgot to say, Here, I I'm going to show this up so that uh, y'all yeah. can focus on it. So this is a tactile map of the eclipse, both uh, the 2017 eclipse, which is, I guess, that one. The rough and of one. course, the 2024 one, I can't do it this in reverse, which is this one, right. And so the idea is, so what happens if you can't see? How do you have eclipse experiences? Mm -hmm. So this event is geared to help those who don't experience the eclipse the same way as regular sighted people do. Or Actually. folks who want more than three and a half minutes. Because we'll have yeah. five hours of tandem bike rides. You can do it with your eyes opened or closed. <laughs> Cornhole, audio darts, beat baseball, the puppy guide dog. The guide dogs and training Aww. will be there. Oh, love so that. anybody who wants more than three and a half minutes of darkness can come and celebrate us with us. But we will have uh, an event that has paid particular attention. We'll have live audio interpretation from Ira, the leading audio describers from across the world, broadcast throughout the world for folks who want to listen in from anywhere. And we'll have this incredible light sound device here. Yeah, so we're going to demo University. this. Yeah. So this is a light sound Head device. Belt. It's you can hear the amount of sound light in the uh, okay around you. So turn flashlight on. So I'm turn on this. So if you can't see the eclipse, you can hear it. This is the sound of the darkness. That well, this is light, right? And now that oh. higher tone is. We'll start with that high tone. Oh, high at 206. So there, there's a sensor in that in that uh, in that device then that's reading the light. Yes. And as it gets darker, those tones will decrease that's until really it's that total explosion. So cool. And then I, if I put my finger over this, then it's oh. totally dark. Right? Now let let me ask: outside clicks. of the the solar eclipse, <clears throat> what is this device used for? Because I, I imagine this is implemented in daily lives. 
Well, there, this has been designed specifically by Allison Bayarilla and her friends and colleagues at Harvard, and we'll be building some of these with our friends at the RIT Maker State Space. Literally for the eclipse. Oh, so, uh, mm -hmm. so these are incredible. literally for the eclipse, but there are devices that are built into apps like Seeing AI or the standalone device Colorino that help folks determine whether light, I have an old house with ceiling lights that I mm -hmm. can't touch the bulb to see if it's hot or cold yeah. so I'll use a device like that to help me tell if my lights are on or off for example oh, sorry um, uh, so they're also determining though that this particular unit they're finding and doing research that it is going to help with some sort of data processing for folks who um, have some neurodiversity that they're really investigating other ways that they can use this light sound device in other things. This is but those are some of the truly practical incredible. Things. Yes, yeah. So That's this, this, this whole event will let you be inclusive for the occlusion. We love that. Uh, can we have dates and, uh, well, well date. Monday, April yes. 8th, Times? from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. And if you go to eclipsefestival.org, you'll see much more about which food trucks will be there, for example, and things, and love what music. That. And we, well, I have to mention that, you know, as we, we take it very seriously, the safety of looking at the sun, mm -hmm so that people don't go blind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but our friends at Retina Associates of Western New York and Goodwill Vision Enterprises as well as Wegmans have really made this whole thing possible. Besides Deb and Dan. Who I didn't do anything, Kiki did everything. Made the, the spun this incredible community web that's brought so many folks together to celebrate this historic event. It's going to have a time like capsule there too. Oh, oh wow. Right. It's Perfect. going to be a great event. Thank you so much. I this is truly incredible. Thank Our pleasure. It's fascinating. So many great options. Yeah. Oh, and it's free. It's free. By the way. Yeah, and it's free. free. And it's free. And it's free. Hey, stick around.